The man named by Interpol as the most wanted paedophile in the world has been arrested in Thailand. Police had been hunting Christopher Neal since computer experts unscrambled pictures he'd allegedly posted on the internet of him abusing young boys. Never before in history has there been a global manhunt for someone who wasn't charged with a crime. Vico was the first time in history that a person who had not yet been charged with a crime, but who we knew was a criminal, was identified and exposed worldwide. But we didn't do it without the support of our president, our executive committee, the experts group, the G8, and all of our member countries. And the historic part about it was it worked. We showed the world what Interpol could do when our 186 member countries combined with a clear objective and with a clear basis for seeking the identification, location, and arrest of a, of a dangerous person. Now, the International Criminal Police Organization, Interpol, is seeking the public's help to identify a man photographed sexually abusing children. The posting on Interpol's website on Monday is the first time the organization is making such a worldwide public appeal to identify a suspect. But we never, ever imagined that within a matter of 24 hours we would have over 400,000 visits to our website, that we would get over 250 leads, that we would have uh, citizens worldwide reading newspaper articles, watching television programs, uh, looking at websites to learn about FICO. It really captured the world's attention. Are publishing them around the world, hoping that someone can identify him. This is the face of the man, now the subject of an unprecedented global police hunt. Interpol say he sexually abused boys in more than 200 photographs posted on the internet. He blocked his own face on the images to disguise his identity, but thanks to the efforts of Germany's federal police agency, his face can now be revealed. We were able to use our global police communication system, connecting all of our member countries, I-247. We had databases of images that allowed us to compare the images that we saw with the images that were sent to us by the EKA. Police in North America, police in Europe, and police in Southeast Asia. Three different time zones, different language, different cultures, different governmental structures, all focused on trying to share information about the same person, the same case. The hub was Interpol, our specialized group, the Operation VICO team, our command and coordination center, bringing it all together, our communications and public information office, all of us working together in order to give the police the kind of information to help identify, locate, and apprehend vicos. Nothing short of extraordinary. After an international manhunt, the net seems to be closing on a man police are calling a child predator. 32-year-old Canadian Christopher Paul Neal was photographed entering Thailand from South Korea. His exact whereabouts are unknown, but officials from Interpol in Bangkok meeting with Thai police. We could find one country to seek additional information about him. That was Germany through what we call a blue notice, which seeks information about someone suspected of criminal conduct. Then with that, we finally decided to ask the public to help us put a name and a nationality with a face. And we did that through our public appeal that was launched on October 8th. And then on the 11th, we actually filmed him entering Thailand. So we were able to give a current location where he was seen. And thanks to the great investigative work of the Royal Thai Police, victims were identified, child victims were identified, who named him as the person who sexually abused him. And therefore, on October 19th, he was arrested. And he now stands, uh, stands to be brought to justice uh, in Thailand. The man accused of being the world's most wanted paedophile has been charged in Thailand with molesting underage children. 32-year-old Canadian Christopher Neal was remanded in custody at Bangkok's criminal court for a further 12 days of questioning. He faces 20 years in prison if convicted. The head of Thailand's child crime unit said Neal would face trial in Bangkok, but left open the possibility that he could be extradited back to Canada. I, I want our member countries and the world to take away three messages from Operation VICO. One, that the Interpol of the 21st century is an Interpol that is more like the Interpol people dream about, write about, and make movies about, 
the inner pull that we were for the last uh, 10 or 15 or 20 years. The second is that the network we have of 186 member countries, of national central bureaus, of police forces, when properly tasked and properly supported by the General Secretariat as a hub, are able to do extraordinary things. And the third thing for any criminal who's thinking about committing a crime and leaving his border to either escape or to commit additional crimes, he or she or they should worry about what Interpol, its member countries, will do in order to try to catch him. We'll use all the technology, all the resources, private, public, in order to make sure that he or they are identified, located, and brought to justice.